The saw is ready to go basically straight out of the box. The bar is already locked in place and the chain is adjusted. You do need an extension cord and you do need to make sure to add oil to the reservoir. Twist the cap back on and let's see how well this thing performs. That was the first cut. I'm impressed. Let's try it again. After about 30 minutes of cutting, we have a nice pile of wood. The chain seems a little bit on the loose side. Let's see if we can tighten it just a shade. The saw comes with two wrenches in this plastic bag. The Allen wrench is for adjusting the chain. Twist the adjustment screw clockwise to tighten the chain. Okay, now we've over tightened the chain. There's no slack, but you get the point. Now we're going to clean it up. First, pry the bolt cap off and remove the retaining nut. When cleaning the saw, the manual warns us against using any solvents like, say, brake cleaner. Just take the rag and brush away the debris. Clean the bar groove. Before putting the bar back on, make sure the oil hole is clean. It needs to be free of any blockage. You don't want wood dust blocking the hole because this is where oil dribbles from the reservoir onto the chain. Then we can put the bar back on. The sprocket turns clockwise, so the blades need to be angled in that direction, the blades cutting into the wood. The bolt is circled in steel, not plastic, so don't be afraid to twist down on the nut good and tight.
Sharpening the chain, keep the file exactly level with the blade. We only use the saw for a short while, so three light strokes per cutter is enough. The important thing is to use the same number of strokes per cutter throughout the chain. This will keep the chain cutting straight. Then flip the saw over to sharpen the other side. So far so good. Initially the saw performed well and it's still doing a good job, but only time will tell. I'll make another video after I've finished clearing the pasture, then we'll know better.